with other people as well. So some of the inspiring, empowering people that I've met lately, right? Jackie Blue, who spoke at the Shine event. Cecilia Robinson, who Renee and I had lunch with the other day. Renee's one of my clients in my influencers group. And, and uh, she, we were both bidding at the Shine event. We were both bidding to win that one hour session with Cecilia Robinson. And then when she joined the group, I'm like, well, I can get you a lunch date with Cecilia. <laughs> I love connecting people, right? So cool. Diane Foreman, amazing book, you know. And there's so many examples of incredible women in New Zealand doing amazing things. I just think we should say, say it a little bit louder and a little bit prouder. Maybe that's the Canadian in me coming out. But I am actually 100% Kiwi, by blood. You wouldn't know it. Um, here, there's a, some woman in our midst doing amazing things. Here we have Amanda Betts, who's working with teens to empower them. And so many other women in this room doing incredible things. <clears throat> so I'd invite you later on Facebook, I'll probably do a post. Tell us what you're doing, and I want you to just loud and proud, tell us what you're doing and what you're taking a stand for and what, you know, why you are and empowering somebody beautiful. Okay, so speaking of somebody beautiful and empowering and inspiring, <clears throat> I'm gonna hand over uh, in a moment to the beautiful Natalie Sisson. Now Natalie and I met through networking Mutual friends of ours, Joe and Janine from Love Your Small Business, introduced us, I think on email or something, um, a couple, about two years ago. And as a result, I think I went to a Venus event, got your book, stand in line, sign my book. Um, <laughs> no, I was like, this, yeah. <laughs> she signed my book. Um, and, then, and then, that's right, then I wanted to interview her on my podcast. And she probably says it was the craziest podcast. So I went over, I live in Meadowbank. She was in Devonport. <clears throat> I went over on the ferry. I like seriously, I live in Meadowbank. I like never leave my house. When I first started coaching, I would drive all over the city, and now I'm like, you know what, people can come to me, so people can just come to me now. Anyway, I got on, the, got on the train, got on the boat, went to see her, and it was raining, so we just did the podcast like in the car. <laughs> because the cafe was way too noisy, so here we are with my like, yellow microphone, you know, we had the iPad, it was awesome, it was pretty funny. And then, you know, fast forward a year later, um, and I'm watching her on stage at Social Media Marketing World. I'm attending her retreat. This time last year, Catherine and I went along. We went to her amazing retreat. Um, and then she actually interviewed me on her podcast. It's great. <laughs> it's so funny. She goes, do you want to, do you want to re-record it? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a month and a half after we recorded it. Because we were going to America, so she had them all like, so organized. She had them in the bank. And she goes, it's about to be released, but do you want to, like, do you want to re-record it? I'm like, why? She goes, you were just, you were so transparent about the numbers. Because I told you I'm into the numbers. I'm like, yeah, because I am, a, I'm literally, I'm an open book. Like, what you see is what you get. I'm really, you know, really open. And so I was going, like, when I first started, I was charging this much, and then I was charging that much, and then I did this course. And I'm like, seriously, like, I just opened my account, accounts. It was so funny. She's like, do you want to be recorded? No, I'm all good. <laughs> so you can listen to it. You can find out everything you ever wanted to know about my business. <laughs> But the, I, think, I think people really liked it because it was just like a real person telling her a real story. And, and that's what I do. And in my books, $10 tonight, I tell you the real deal <laughs> about parenting, right? And I call it hashtag juggling the mother load, right? Juggling the mother load. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna, this is Natalie, okay. I'm gonna hand over to Janelle. She's done a bit of research, so I gotta let her say her stuff. She's done research. research. And then she's gonna introduce the beautiful Natalie Sisters. Right, so I've uh, in fact, never met Natalie until tonight, so I thought I'd better go researching and I looked up Facebook and 